right. Amen. 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 This is what I'm going to talk about today. Amen. Amen. Nobody can. God can Amen. provide. Hallelujah. Tell somebody God can provide. God can provide. God can provide. I learned a long time ago <clears throat> that loss is inevitable. Um, the Bible teaches us what does it profit a man well, to gain the whole world and to lose his soul. My God. I, I've learned that, that that a lot of times we, we can want all of these great things, all of these tangible and materialistic things, but, but I learned that if our soul salvation is not right, if our relationship is not right with God, nothing else matters. Because God, what God wants from us is to have the very best relationship we can. Amen. So that whenever we get in times of trouble, whenever we get into a place where we need God to, to show up for us, it won't be a problem. And I learned that sometimes a lot of us, we build our relationship with God off of what he does for us in the moment. Mm. You know, I'm talk to me a little bit. Come on now. Brief, we build our brief. relationship with God off of what he does for us in the moment. Mm. What I mean by that is, is that, that once God provides for us, then we put him back on the shelf uh -huh. until we need him again. Come on now. And I start to tell you on tonight that, that I don't need God just to show up when I need him well, to show up. Yeah. But I need God to hold on to yeah, me. I need yeah. him to guide me. I need him to be there. So when I do get in trouble, Come on. when I do get in a, in a distress for a moment, I know that God is right there and God will show me that he'll never leave me no forsake. Come on now. God, God, God will never leave me nor forsake me. And that's what Elisha is trying to convey over to this lady tonight. And the Bible teaches us that this lady, she's been living in this place. She has been dealing with some things because it says that she has lost her husband. Mm -hmm. She's a widow. Now that she's lost her husband, it seems as though that the text is telling us that she is scrambling and training just to survive. Yes, sir. Have we ever been in that place where we have to scramble and strain just Break, to break, Doc, to, break. To, to, to make ends meet. But, yes, sir. But God shows up. Oh. Uh, and, and that's what happens Long with time. these ladies. That, that when she feels like that she's at the end, when she feels like she's at wit's end and she has no other place to go, God sends his prophet Elijah. Yeah. And I don't know about you, but all through the Bible, God, God sent prophets whenever there was some trouble. God sent them right in the nick of time. Yeah. And can I tell you something? This lady, she had so much faith is that, that, that she cried and she stayed faithful. And, and I like what the text says because the text says that she turns back to God mm -hmm. when she gets in trouble. Well, and I tell you, brother God, if you don't take nothing else home with you on tonight, I want you to yeah, take yeah. this home with you. My, 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 my sermon and the sentence, and that is be careful of limiting God's blessings because of your problems. Yes. Come on, come on. Oh, Let me say it again. Be careful, be careful of limiting God's blessings because of your problems. Right? Yeah. And I tell you, this lady, she could have rolled over and she could have gave up. She could have threw in the towel, but she kept the faith. Yes, sir. Yeah. Great, Let me say it again. She, she, she kept the faith. Faith, man. She kept on screaming. She kept on toiling, and she kept on praying, and she kept on asking God to do something for her. And then all of a sudden, one day, Elisha shows up. Yes, sir. Talk, talk to me. Talk to me, man. He showed up, yeah. and he does the unthinkable. He does the unimaginable, and he does something for her. And he starts to put his hand to the plow, and he starts working on her behalf. Yes, sir. Won't you see something on tonight? I got three things. I'm getting out to wait. First thing Ted shows us is that God prioritizes our problems. That's right. We said again, God prioritizes our problems. Yes, God, sir. God has a plan for our problems. Yeah. She doesn't know what to do. She doesn't know where to turn. But in her pain, in her poverty, she did what she knew and she turned to the Lord. Y'all ain't gonna help me tonight. Yeah, in, go in ahead, go ahead. In the lowest time in her life, she finds a way to turn and get her problems back into the hands of the Lord. Yeah. She was in despair in her family. She is a broken woman. She has death in her family. She's lost her husband. She has death in her family. She can't pay her bills. So she gets ready. She's getting ready to.
to lose her son. But in spite of all of her problems, she has a devotion and she turns to God. Yeah. What are you trying to say, Pastor, is that our problems may seem impossible in our eyes, but they are really just God's opportunities to step in. Take, oh, take, God, take. take. In here tonight. Yeah. If you read the Bible, the Bible tells us in the Proverbs <laughs> to trust in the Love. Lord with all thine heart. When your, when your children are going through and you can't well, solve what, what, what do you do when your marriage is on the rocks and crashing waves? And, and, and what do you do when there's problems at work and it seems like there's no way out? What, what, what do you do when you have too much month left and, and, and no money? What, what do you do when you have followed a loved one's body to the graveyard and you still feeling empty? What, what do you do when your heart is broken? Your, your dreams are shattered oh, and your hopes have been yeah. and bits and pieces. What do you do when you're walking through a spiritual wasteland and it seems like there's no way out? I come to encourage somebody tonight when I tell you what seems like the end of the line to you is just the beginning for God. Yeah, yeah. It's just the beginning for God. Because what happens is God will let you get but far enough into your circumstances just so he can step in and prove to you that not only does he orchestrate the circumstances, but he can control and save the circumstances. Y'all yeah. ain't helping me. Why you worried about the copy man? God already got the title in his hand. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why you worried about the lamp your God and already get hey, you some Sit back and watch God work. Yeah. Work, work. To anybody here that can testify with me, that can say, yeah, I, I'm just crazy enough to believe that God will provide even when I don't see it. Yeah. That's why I can shout that he's a way out of nowhere. Yeah. That's why I can raise my hand and say he'll open doors that yeah. no man can shut. Glory, glory. My, 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 my favorite book in the Bible is the book of uh, Exodus, Pastor. Because in that 14th chapter of Exodus, uh -huh. children of Israel, they're, they're going through a problem because they're at the Red Sea. Uh -huh. yeah. and, and they feel as though that Moses done brought them to a place where they're getting ready to die. Yes, sir. And uh, God does something so strange. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. He, he does something so uh -huh. out of the Powerful, powerful, God, God. God didn't remove the Red Sea. He just parted. Yeah. And see, come on, come on. Sometimes God doesn't remove your problems. He That's just right. makes a way through you. Yes, sir. Come on, talk to me. Preach, like a preach. Don't, don't you know that if God won't take it away, He'll make a way through it. Yes, yes sir. sir. And see, we get so discouraged sometimes because we can't see the end. But can I tell you, if God brought you to it, yes, sir. He'll bring you through it. Yeah, come on, come on. Preach, sir. God promotes our potential. He, 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 he positions us. God positions us for promotion. Watch this. Watch this. The Bible says she goes to him and she said, Elisha says, what do you have? What, 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 what shall I do to you? Tell me, what do you have in your house? And she answers. She said, I ain't got nothing in there but a jar of oil that my <laughs> husband left me when he died. <laughs> Even in his death, he was still provide. Oh, talk, 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 talk to me, talk to me. The, the Lord challenged her faith because he asked the prophet, he asked her two important questions. Don't miss me, don't hang the phone up on me tonight. <laughs> he asked her, watch this, what do you need and what do you have? 
because she needed everything, but yeah. she had very little. That's right. What God does is, is that he uses our trials, he uses our heartaches, he uses our burdens to bring us to a place where we can see our need and our inability to supply our own need. Okay. He, he, he said, what do you have? She said, a job oil. He huh. said, what do you need? Vessels to put the oil in. That's right. She had what she had to survive, but she still needed had to That's trust that. God to get a little bit more than what oh, she needed. God. Okay, God doesn't erase our faith, He just challenges our faith. Yes, sir. Because as long as we think we can do it, then God won't do it. That's right. That's That's why He gives you the new house with no credit. He'll give you a job with no experience. Y'all ain't talking to me. Paul said it like this Paul said, I can do all things through Christ. That's scripture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you're real, just a little bit. What he According said. to his riches. That's what he said. She said, all I got is yeah. all you. He said, that's all you need. And that's all you need to get to what you need to have in my mind. Free, he sir. said Free. that if you go take what you have and tell them I need to borrow some stuff, here I am with nothing but some oil. Don't ask me why, but all I want to do is borrow some drugs. Don't, I don't know how God's going to do it, but I believe that God's going to provide. Can I tell you, you got everything that you need to survive. Some of us, we walking around here looking for solutions in people. We looking for solutions in money. We looking for solutions in family members. But don't you know you got everything that you need? And all you need is just a little bit of pride. Yeah. Just a little bit of faith. But yeah. you And if I tell you, when you learn how to call on Come on, preach up. Preach up. to do something for you. Glory, glory. He positions us for promotion. Then watch this. He, he, he provides the proper provision. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. He provides the proper provision. She, so so God says she left him and she shut the door behind her mm-hmm. and the children and she went to work. Amen, amen. And the kids kept on bringing the oil. She kept on pouring. Yeah, she the kept on pouring. She, she said to her, uh, the children, they, she said, bring me some more. And they said, there's no more. <laughs> then the oil stopped flowing. Uh-huh. She came and told the man of God. Uh, and he says, take what you're going to need and sell it and pay your debts off. Wow. I, I, I can imagine those kids, they probably were baffled because... When they started, they didn't have anything. That's right. But then God started providing yeah. right in front of the yeah. yeah, show the minds. And, and they saw her. And, and they the said, Mom, well, what are you doing with the oil? Why did you have us to borrow all these vessels from the, uh, the neighbors? And, and she said, brother, I don't have all the answers, but I believe the Lord is yeah. going to do something great yes. in our home. Your daddy yes. didn't leave us much, but he did leave us this little bit of oil. And the man of God said that, that if we would get the oil, boys, God is going to fill every one of these vessels. She, 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 she had to have been a strong black woman because she didn't sit still. She didn't complain. She went straight to work. Yeah. She said, y'all keep on praying for right my work. I need all the women in the church on tonight to talk back to me right over here. They said, yeah. I don't know what it feels like. Yeah. Says she didn't have that much oil, uh-huh. but she kept on pouring. 
the rest was still right now. Yes, sir. She had so much oil that she had some left over. Huh. Not only to pay her bills, but she had some left over to live off of. Yes, sir. God will not only provide you with uh, 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 what you don't have, but he'll keep on going until he exceeds what you need. Yes, sir. Y'all ain't helping me in life. Can I tell you, tell right me, now, tell you're me. going to do something that you can't even figure out. That's huh. right. And what God will do is, is that God will keep on blowing your mind. Yes, he will. Is that when you think you done had everything that you could receive, God will just keep on pouring. Yes, he will. As a matter of fact, I can testify today that I got more clothes than I can wear at one time. Come on. Amen. Amen. I'm through the night. Amen. Amen. I'm through the night. God, be the glory. 
If nobody can, God can provide. Nobody else will do it. God can do it. Hallelujah. It's like that God will do the exceedingly, abundantly, above all you can ask for faith. Hallelujah. God can do it. I've seen a 